بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So firstly, I wanted to start off with uh, Sheikh Hatim, uh, Dr. Hatim, about something which I think is a phenomenon more people are becoming aware of. Um, a lot of us, when we go on to social media sites, uh, especially sites like Instagram, which highlight you know, people's everyday lives, experiences, the good times, people see you on vacation, they see wedding pictures, they see pictures of new children. Uh, when we compare our own boring, mundane lives to the lives of our friends on social media, the people who we see enjoying themselves every single day, it creates something known as Facebook depression. This is a term that's going around now called Facebook depression, where people get more upset and more kind of envious of the world they see outside of their own, based on the fact that everybody just shares positive moments in their own lives. Is social media or Facebook depression a real thing? And if so, how do we counteract its effects? Alhamdulillah, uh, this, is, this is not limited to social media. This is because uh, of, you know, how uh, our priorities are not really in the right place. If, if uh, this is your reaction, if this is how you feel when you watch uh, those images on Instagram, uh, or Facebook or whatever social media. I don't think it's much different from just generally speaking But you know So all of these glitters enjoyments all of these uh, things and, and the, the worthy pleasures were made were beautified to people, were made beautiful to people. It's a test, you know. And lust, you know, uh, money, wealth, um, you know, wealth, uh, that's Range Rovers nowadays and, and those things. So those things have been uh, made beautiful uh, to us, part of the test. You know, Tabarak Allah di Biyadi al Mulk, who Allah Kulish and Kadir Allah di Khalq al Mata al Hayatari Abluakum Ayukum Aksan Amala. He who created life and death to test you. And He created everything therein to test you. This morning we were talking about the tafsir of Surah Al Kaf, and I mentioned the 70 second discourse of Futuh al Ghaibah by Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani, Rahimahullah, when he talked about, you know, the five people who walked into the market. The first one, you know, who had to go out of their, you know, home uh, to basically pray the congregation prayer, or do like do something of, of benefit, and they had they had to walk through the market. So the first one was distracted by the market, and he dropped from his station because he really got sort of distracted, tempted. Uh, it was too much for him to handle, and he just decided that no, I need to to, to basically earn more money and to be able to buy all of. Uh, these good things, uh, you know, my neighbor just bought like a new uh, Mercedes or Range Rover, and, you know, I, I need to uh, be, I need to be able to, to buy a, a car like this. And then the second one who showed sabr and the third one who was able to buy it without being distracted and showed shukr and the fourth one who went through the market and did not see anything because he's so focused on his, his final uh, goal, his ultimate objective, that he actually walked through the market and did not see. It's not like they're, they're blind. It's not like they're not seeing the Range Rover that their next door neighbor uh, bought, but it doesn't stir anything inside their hearts. It just, you know, they're, they're so focused, they know uh, where they're going, and, and the, this is ta'zim al-muzhil of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala distracting glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make them not look to the right or to the left. And he said the, the best person is the one who had empathy for the people in the market, the one who felt bad for them, you know, and the one who can continue, kept on making dua for them, like the Prophet sallallahu felt bad for them that they are distracted. Uh, they are this distracted from their Lord. This does not mean that everybody in the market is distracted, but he felt bad for the people who are in the midst of this hustle and bustle of the market, felt bad for distraction, and kept on making dua for them. 
not only that he was not tempted or distracted, but he showed concern and empathy and compassion for the people who are. So when you see those pictures and you feel, you, you, you make dua for those people, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, bless them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the best out of it, may Allah protect them fr from the evil of it and keep them focused and not distracted, this would be the right response. And your uh, imam in this case and best, the greatest role model would be the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thank you very much for that response.